this is chapter um, um, this is chapter three um, part three um, I'm, I'm going to talk to you about the uh, the example in the book that's the code listing three dash one is that rectangle one right now it talks about the first version of the rectangle one with it so uh, I'm going to talk about the attributes and they're uh, accessed by by this thing so um, before we get too far with this thing on page 134 you need to know the definitions of a table uh, 3-1 of private and public with it make sure you know that that's a, that will be a TQ test question with it um, that's how I write a lot of the test questions with it as well all right so as you go through this thing just just bear with me on page 133 if you look at figure 3-5 and there's a UML diagram. This is page 133 on, page, on figure 3-5. The UML diagram of the rectangle class. The name of the class is rectangle. It has two fields with length and width. And everything else below it are methods. So you have the set length, set width, get length, get width, and get area. Now, the set is what? And what is the get? So why are they called setters and getters? If you think about one is to read and one's to write. All right. Set meaning to write it. All right. So when you write, you call those are mutators. Okay. Setters are mutators. And when you get it, you read from it. So they're assessors. So they're just names that we call in. Uh, and, and, and setters and getters are called are equal are, are what we call as our methods or our members uh, of. Of, of, of the methods that we have okay so if you look at that rectangle that UML on page 133 figure 3-5 the UML diagram for the rectangle class and that's what we're we are about to actually to, to talk to you about how that is dissected and how that's programmed with it all right so um, what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, I'm going to I'm going to uh, maximize the screen here in a second here and we can see both of the both of the screens that actually takes place with it so I want to maximize this is the source code that comes from your book with it that comes with your book with it and let me uh, this is figure code listing 3-1 and uh, this is the rectangle class which is on the left hand side and the right hand side is what's called your demo this is your you all see this so this is your rectangle uh, your rectangle this is your length demo now look at that that UML I just want to make sure we do you look at that UML on figure 3-5 I want to explain the name of your class is called what? Public class rectangle. Again, public is your access modifier that allows everybody to access this thing. You have your curly brackets with it indented in. These are your two attributes or known as your fields. The next one is your length, which is the data type of double, and you give it a private. We always give our, our fields private with this thing. And you have width, data type is a double and that's also private so in here what you're going to do is the set length method accepts an argument that stores it into the length field with the same so if you look at the same make sure the methods all methods are public everything in that when you say setters and getters down there they're all all public so and they come with the next word is void set length is the name of it and you're passing across is length or short for the argument or parameter with the data type that's a double it has to match this double up here as well as the data, as the data type and this length right here is the parameter that goes to the right side of the equal sign so what does that mean the right side you're assigning is to what to this field called length which is this field right here okay so you're passing in anytime you call this method uh, set length you want to pass a particular number in here it has that variable called length and that length is assigned to this field that's how you write to it remember now mutators setters are mutators they write to all right now this is a separate class you haven't done anything to this class this one over here is a program where you demo it meaning you will use this rectangle 
class and this rectangle class, what you're going to do is you're going to actually demonstrate, instantiate the object from it. So, you got to have your public static void main argument here. This is like your front door, right? Again, this is your another class that's called length demo, the same name as your class with the same. So, you're going to demonstrate the length of this demo, uh, the, the, the length of the same. So, key things to, 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 to syntax here. Again, public is an access modifier. Static void main string argument. This is a uh, take it for you know, just believe me for now. This is like your entrance to your code, the equivalent to our int main function that we wrote in 1436 and C. This is the statement where you actually come in and you're going to instantiate. Look, you're going to use the rectangle class. This is the rectangle class over here on the left hand side. You're going to instantiate, meaning creating an object call box with this new, which is a reserved word, rectangle function okay, class that you're using. This rectangle is this rectangle class. It's going to create an object that contains two fields, length and width. And we're going to output that with this particular string. So we're going to say send the value 10.02 and concatenate it with the set length method. So here is this box. This box is this box. You with me? And it allows me to access this method call set length, and I'm passing in a double 10. This set length is this set length method right here. Okay? So once I've done that, I'm going to pass that in. I created a field in the length, length field. And that's going to store 10.0 inside of this. And of course, the last statement is done. Now, when I compile this thing, the way how this thing works, okay, the way how this thing works is, I'm going to I'm going to pause here for a second, okay, and get things set up here. So, what I've done is what I've done is I went in and and copy the length demo and the rectangle into my Java bin SDK. So I'm going to go to my command line. I'm going to pull up command line right now. I'm going to back out cd dot dot to the root and come in from Java cd bin and then I'm going to actually compile it Java C. The first one I need to compile is what? I need to compile the rectangle first, correct? And then I'm going to compile the length demo. So the rectangle dot Java, right, generates the class file. You got to do that first because you can't do the length demo. Why? Because the the length demo will call the the class file the class file of the rectangle. You can't you can't you got to do that rectangle the the template first and then you do the demo so I'm going to do the Java C length demo dot Java okay and then I just demo Java length demo okay and this is what it gives me right here if you can if you can see what I just did here is that I've gone in and Pass calling the set length method and pass in the ling to store that into the length, the 10.0 into the field called length with it. Okay, so that's what I just did. Now, um, so so let me pause here in a second.